I love it. It's been a long, long time since I saw a rookie play at this level of the playoffs with this kind of fearless poise and control. Mm -hmm. He's completely in control mm -hmm. of himself in the situation. He doesn't play out of control. He doesn't play too fast. Right. He lets the game sort of come to him, and then he just annihilates the game. He waits. He waits. He, last night, do you know how many times they got to the end of the clock, and they're like, we got nothing here. I got it. I got it. Yeah. I, I'll create something. He's unbelievable. You know how many end-of-clock shots he hit? Do you know what they used to call Michael Jordan when I covered him in the last dance year in 1998? The ultimate bailout guy. Yes. That's what he was referring yeah. to. Because he would bail you at the clock. Right. When in doubt, just give it to 23 and let him just operate and either get to the free throw line or make some shot where you say, how do you do that? Hey, do you think the Celtics are going to come back and beat the Heat this series? Listen to this. Celtics are not only going to beat the Heat, they're going to win it all this year. Win it all, you hear me? They're going to win it all. Yep, you heard him, guys. Better number 18 coming our way. <laughs> all right. Coming up, pleasant, good late evening. It is your boy, Lewis, coming back at you on the Lewis Sports Network with yet another heavy hitter banger with yet another video. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure those notifications are turned on. Make sure you guys are showing the, sharing this on your social media platforms. And make sure you guys are commenting on the comment section down below. Truly appreciate it, bro. Mm -hmm. The Miami Heat are your Eastern Conference champions. They just knocked off the Boston Celtics with a 125-113 win. And now the NBA Finals are set for Wednesday. Game one of the NBA Finals between the Miami Heat and the Los Angeles Lakers in the Orlando bubble. Wow. First of all, let's let's give a shout out to Bam Adebayo real quick. Uh, the man had 32 points and 10 rebounds. Just a monster. Made big plays down the stretch and was just clutch. Gave the Heat some big baskets in that fourth quarter. Tyler Hero stepped up and was great also down the stretch. Made some key baskets when the Boston Celtics, well, they were going neck and neck. And then obviously, uh, you know, what can you say, man? It's it's unbelievable. I told people that the Miami Heat were a dark horse team. And I said that for a very, 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 very long time. I said Miami was a dark horse. Check this out, guys. Tyler Hero is only 20 years old in his rookie season, and he's going to the NBA Finals. Now, circumstances stay different because they're not playing, you know, with an actual fan base. They're not playing. There's no really no home court advantage. But Tyler Hero is in the NBA Finals, and he's only 20 years old. Check that out. Rookie. Jimmy Butler, last year, was in Philadelphia. Comes, in a comes over in the offseason to the Miami Heat. And is in the NBA Finals. Check this out also. Miami is the number five seed, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, I believe that they're the second lowest seed to go to an NBA Finals. Other than, actually no, the third lowest because the Knicks are the only team, are the lowest seed to go to the NBA Finals. Uh, remember that the Houston Rockets are the lowest seed to ever win the NBA title. So I believe that the Miami Heat are the third lowest seed to make it all the way to the NBA Finals. But man, that would be that would be one heck of a story if that were to happen. Uh, so we got LeBron and AD against Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler, Lakers and Heat. And to the Boston Celtics, they had a great season. Um, but you know the season is going to be known as a fail. It's going to be known as a failure, obviously, because they didn't get to the NBA Finals. Brad Stevens now and the Celtics have now lost three Eastern Conference Finals in four years. Um, I feel like they got a lot. Of, Jason Tatum has got a lot of growing up to do. Uh, he played well. Like, he really showed his all around us, but I just felt like Boston's defense was just too inconsistent. Especially, they have to learn how to pretty much play in close games. Uh, and I feel like that's a problem for Boston. They're a very well coached team. Uh, they've got some nice, good, gritty players. Uh, they, were, they were lacking depth. Uh, but give credit to the Celtics, man. They fall hard to the end. It's just. It was just not their time. But I know what some, I know what people are going to say. The referees played a factor. The refs took the game from the Boston Celtics. Again, you guys can dispute that in the comment section. Uh, I'm not even going to get into that. But but it is what it is. Um, 
You know, unfortunately, so that's like, what if the Celtics, they do need to ask some depth, though, because where do they go from here? Uh, it was right there, man. They had, they were two wins away from an NBA final strip. They had a chance to win game six. They fall hard after being down by, what, double digits? I think it was 10 or 12 points, and then they came back, you know, uh, crazy. Uh, but again, shout out to Jalen Brown, shout out to Jason Tatum, shout out to Daniel Fyshe, shout out to that whole Celtic squad. They, they did the best they could, but Miami just proves that in close games, they just execute better, which is something Boston has got to get over. Uh, and Jason Tatum still has some growing up to do. Uh, obviously, he's young, so he's going to get better. Um, I don't know what to do with Brad Stevens because I said before, Brad Stevens is very good with X's and goes X's and O's, but I just feel like he doesn't really motivate guys. I feel like they were just, I don't know, I feel like the Celtics were kind of missing something. Like, I don't feel like they had that spark, you know, that they should have, you know, in this series. I feel like leadership to me, you know, they get it in Marcus Small, but I just felt like it was just kind of lacking um, where I felt like it should have been there. Uh, and then, ladies and gentlemen, give shout out to Goran Dragic as well. But can I just say this? And I know Duncan Robinson has had his moments, but can we give a shout out to Eric Spolstra? Because the real, the biggest point of this video is I want to congratulate the Heat. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers for making it to the finals. But guys, check this out. How about the fact that Eric Spolstra? You know, the ones who people said that he was overrated, the people who said that Eric Spolstra was not a great coach, you know, because he was missing LeBron. As the number five seed, Eric Spolstra was coached the Miami Heat to the NBA Finals without a true superstar. But I know what they're going to say. Oh, but it took it took him six years. It took him six years to, you know, to finally to get to the finals. Do you, 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 I mean, people do realize that it's really never always as easy, you know, depending on who you're talking about, right? It's not easy. It's not easy to get back to the finals because you're never guaranteed those opportunities. And this is why we can't call Eric Spolstra overrated anymore. We can't even say that LeBron has never played with, he's never played for a great coach. Eric Spolstra just took a team with no superstar to the NBA Finals. They have a good, structured basketball team put together that plays together, plays hard defense. They're deep. They're versatile. They have great culture and leadership on that on the in that organization. They're a superstar away from becoming championship contenders now. But how about this unprecedented run by the Miami Heat? And I called it. I said that this was a dark horse team that was going to make the NBA Finals at least a chance. I didn't know. I didn't think that they were going to get there because I thought they were going to lose to Milwaukee. But they proved me wrong against the Bucks, And now they're in the NBA Finals. Eric Spolstra is a Hall of Fame coach. So that narrative that LeBron fanboys are talking about, oh, he's never played for a great coach. Eric Spolstra needs to get the respect he deserves. But I know the narrative is going to keep going about LeBron, but... Eric Spolstra just proved it, man. He just proved that he doesn't... Now, he's going to need a superstar, I think, to win unless the Heat pull the impossible and beat the Lakers. I don't think the Heat are going to beat the Lakers. I think the Lakers are winning the NBA title. I will be shocked if the Heat end up beating LeBron James and AD and company, you know, to win an unexpected, you know, NBA championship. It would be a, it would be a huge upset. Um, especially when you have two of the most dominant players in the NBA and LeBron and AD. That, that would be shocking. But the narrative has been debunked, ladies and gentlemen. No matter what you say, Eric Spolstra is a great coach. Number five Miami Heat seed is in the NBA Finals. Now, yes, it is in the bubble. I get all that. But he got it done. We can't say, we can't say that Eric Spolstra is a great coach. He's not overrated. Now, Doc Rivers, on the other hand, that's a different story. Because he's had way more opportunities than Eric Spolstra has had. And he's blown so many of them. Think about that. 3-3-2 three, three, leads and 3-3-1 three, three, leads? Eric Spolstra has just helped Miami coach them to the NBA Finals. Along with those great players. That team is going to be a contender for years to come as long as they get themselves a superstar. 
don't know how long Iguodala's gonna be there because he's on his last legs, but you know, if they can bring in somebody else, but I'm telling you, the Heat are gonna be, they're gonna be a record in the Eastern Conference for years to come. But that just proves it. Eric Spolstra, people can never say now that he's not a great coach and people can say that he's not been able to lead a team since LeBron left. That narrative has been debunked, it's gone. You can't spin it no more no matter which way you run. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Los Angeles Lakers versus Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Congrats to both teams on making it to the NBA Finals. Again, listen, y'all know how I personally feel about this whole thing ever since COVID happened. The players shouldn't have been playing. But at the end, I'm just going to call it like I see it. Going to give both teams credit. So it is what it is, man. But congratulations on the Heat on winning the Eastern Conference Finals, man. Y'all deserve it. Lakers, same thing. Y'all deserve it. All right, guys. So this is Lewis with another one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Miami, finally, they got it done. They are going to the NBA Finals for the first time in six years. Lakers back in the NBA Finals for the first time in 10 years. An unexpected NBA Finals, man. Awkward a bit, right? Brock going up against his former team. Interesting. Former coach. Former president of basketball operations. Former owner. Former owner, excuse me. But let me know what you guys think, man. Bless up, live, laugh, love. Thank you guys for watching. To the NBA Finals, your Eastern Conference champion, Miami Heat. Back up to you, Mike. Thank you, Rachel. Well, they started the playoffs with a sweep of a very good Indiana team, and then the Milwaukee.